see my kids really soon. They don't know I'm coming. <laughs> So glad. Oh my God, I miss you so much. I'm lucky to be home and have people I love around me. So of course I'm glad to be home. But you know, a big part of me is still up on Vancouver Island and that will always be a part of me now, that experience. Let's get the fire started and then let's eat around it. Out there, the only responsibility was to myself. We got a salmon. Oh. And it is alive and kicking. You need to cut its backbone is the main thing. And now, you know, I've got responsibilities here again. I've got my business, and I've got my kids, and I've got daily living. Oh, there you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. <laughs> daily living out there was really simple. Feed yourself, keep yourself warm enough, make sure you are safe, you know? Back home, there's a lot more responsibilities. It's not as simple. It's not nearly as simple as it was out there. Oh my God, this looks so good, Gabe. I, I didn't, wasn't ready to go home. I was happy out there. All of a sudden, I just, I just knew. I felt my children actually calling me, saying, Mom, it's too long. We need you back. Oh my God, it just hit me right in the gut. Hi, do you want to come up? And so here I am back home again with my kids, and I'm so glad to be back with them. They, and they did need me home. You know, they really did. I can tell. And so I made the right decision. You know, I can't put regrets on that. Mm. Kind of looks so good. Can I dip it in your vanilla oh. yogurt? Mm. <laughs> Alone at last. It's scary out here in these woods. My stomach is in knots.